let's just create here another class hi welcome to another tutorial of architecture so today's topic is classes we described classes in our previous tutorial in part one about how to create a class what is syntax of a class what is class in swift programming language and how to create an object of a class how to initialize variables in a class as default so today's topic is about class how to create variables their initializers how to override a method how to extend a class in a class so let's begin first of all let's just initialize class person in brackets now initialize variable name type will be string then var h type will be int so I created here two variables, but the error goes here. Class person has no initializer. So in previous tutorial, I initialized variables and their default values. But in this tutorial, we have to learn about initializer. So what are initializers? Initializers are simple to initialize some values in the variables that are created in the class. So let's just create an initializer. Type here in it, then we have to just pass the variable that you can say parameters string and the other one is h then what to do self dot name equals to name and then self dot h equals to h So this is how initializers are created in a class. We can define or initialize values as default by initializers or by simple using options. So now what's next? Let's just call this object p equals to person. After creating an object, it says missing arguments or parameters name and age in the call, right? So what we have created here, an initializer, means that whenever we use an object of a class, we have to describe here the values here like this, age and name. So let's just add here name equals to Samina and then age equals to 20. Now just print the variables like object p dot name and then print p dot h so this is how to create initializer of a class and then call that object by defining the values of those variables so let's just run it and see the result samina and age is 20 so next is let's just create here another class user and I need these variables inside the user class what if I just use this person class I don't want to recreate these variables and initializers so what I will do here I just extend by giving colon and typing here person so this is how a property of person are now accessible by the user class this is called inheritance and this is also called extend class or driver class so now what I'll do here I just copy this and paste it over here also delete this class and type here user now the object can be used and paste here you run it and see what it returns so what is the result so what does it mean 
because we extend the class of person, we can access this method or variables. If I need to initialize a variable inside this class, I have to create an initializer or what I'll have to do. But what if I need to initialize a different variable inside user class? What complication will come up to me? So now let's just initialize here a variable address colon string. So now what I have to define here initializers. Initializers basically name first of all then age which is integer and then third one is address which is also a string so now what I have to do is delete this statement and first I have to just type here self dot self dot address address equals to address then what I have to do here I have to pass here the values of this uh, method to this method then what I have to do here I will call here super dot init and then pass here the values which is name and simple age so what is this mean super dot in it means that the method is now accessible by uh, this class will pass on the value to this init function so now what i have to add here just an address a b c i just forgot to mention address here so now just you dot address and now just run it and see the result so this is how we in use initializers in a class here is the result root 20 and abc this is name this is age and this is address so what's next the next one is how to use a function or override the functionality of a method in an other class in a drive class so let me just create here a function let me just create here a function is live this is a function and then I'll say print yes I am alive so what I have to do here I have to just call this function here in my class so what I will do here just see I'll type here override override and then function override function and then is alive so what I did here I just override the function of this class and it says present here some code so let's say super dot alive super means calling the super class function in this method so now what I will do here I'll say u dot function is alive and let's run it yes I'm alive so what if I had some functionality of my own by calling this method like if I'm calling a function of clicking a button but I have to do certain tasks in that function or printing a name or uh, 
calculating some functions or variables or anything. So what I'll do here, I'll just go with print name and then just run it. So what it will do, it will print this code and this code also. So now just uh, call this function and see the result. So it says root, yes, is I'm alive. The purpose we use class is to create valuable data. So this is how classes work. So our next chapter is structs and then the last one is closures. So that's it from today. Hope you will like this video. If you like this video, give thumbs up to this video. Also subscribe our channel. You can also follow us on New Detections Instagram and on Facebook. We will be back with amazing tutorials, inshallah. Allah Hafiz.